Bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Bienvenue dans la serre numéro 3 du deuxième année. Approchez-vous tous. Aujourd'hui, nous allons rempoter des mandragores. Qui peut me dire Well, uh, there's no favorite. Like, like, there's no favorite. It's and they're always different. Like, I played Melbourne many times, and this was not the same Melbourne I used to play. <laughs> what do I enjoy the most? DJing, producing, or playing live? Well, I like DJing on Twitch. That's fun, but not so much in the festivals. I like producing the most. Like, it's my favorite video game. I don't play video games. I only play producing. Yeah, so I love producing, and then I like making a set tailored for every city, and then like, watching them react. Like, that's my pleasure. Like, it's, a, it's a joint thing. Like, it's a process, and I love it. How I discovered new music? Well, yeah. I mean, I've been listening to the same shit for years, like, to the same albums, mostly by Spongo, but like, Last year during the lockdowns, I fucking started liking this new wave of, I don't know how you call them, like, like Playboy Cardi, you know, like this, but his new album, the whole lot of red vibes and um, yeah, this kind of shit, hyper pop, of course, the new Kanye West is amazing, as always, but like, nothing new, like, just, I like to listen to great albums. Reggae, old reggae. I'm listening a lot of old reggae. Yeah, I listen mostly like for the last two years straight to this playlist on Apple Music called Roots Reggae. I don't know the name of the songs. I know the lyrics to all of them. And uh, I've been listening to Playboy Cardi and Repeat since it launched. What am I looking like to release a bunch of tracks? We just, I, I have not been releasing for like two years. I did some illegal releases like outside of the contract and the management was not happy because they were looking for a deal. We finally got it. We got the password for the thing. So we finally can start scheduling things after two years. So that's what I'm looking the most for because like most of the tracks I played are on release like just in the end of course I played all the hits but in the beginning it was like what I'm going to release and I love like watching them react so I can't wait to see what they say in YouTube and like all of this this is what I'm looking the most forward I remember I was thinking this year, when did I discover electronic music and DJing like, I was taking a shower the other day and I was thinking like I was having flashbacks of being in the car. Uh, my mom was driving. I was in the back seat. And it was in this time where there was songs like um, this one with the auto tune from Chair. Uh, Do you really? And it had this distinct 909 hi hat. Also, well, many tracks in this time had this Euro beat like. So that's when I like, like, in this moment, I learned how to make these beats. But it was until many years, like, I learned it like, whoa, okay, I got it. This is a thing, like, like you know, when you learn, like, ah, this is rock, this is reggae, like. So it was when I was a kid, and then when I was finishing high school, I was smoking weed with some friends, and uh, they were like, the music you're making sounds like trans music. And I was like, I hate trans music. It's not real music. I was this kind of like rock guy, but I was learning how to use the software just to like, and then they just invited me to some race and started DJing, like normal. Why was I listening? Skrillex, of course. Uh, Spongol, a lot of Spongol. Um, 
hallucinogen. I mean, in electronic music, that's what I was listening. And on the other side, I was listening to like a lot of power metal, like with a lot of. So that is why I love putting these cheesy RPGs, like because they remind me of power metal. So that was a mix of metal and dubstep and goa. Not necessarily, I guess. I always wanted to be on the stage, like, and I, the decks are the stage that I've lasted the longest until now, so it was like instinct. But no, like, I had, I had inspirations, but there was not one like, wow, I want to compete in this EDM thing. It was just organic. Of course. Of course I got upcoming music, like, that's what I sing. Uh, I was waiting for two years. We just got distribution, so now we can distribute. Finally, what do I have? I have everything. It's like I'm a label. <laughs> and there's five artists living in my head, so that's, that's the cool part. Like, if you invite me to a hard style party, all right. You invite me to a techno party, why not? House one, okay, side trans, I mean, because we had this fucking lockdown period plus baggage. So now it's like, should it be many albums or singles or EPs or just like a YouTube thing? Like, so now it's like, what do we do with this? Like, it's just a lot of files without names. Some have names. One of the main challenges of being a DJ, I think is staying healthy for real, like, cause this is something that I see a lot in everywhere. Like, you need to eat right, you need to do some sport, drink a lot of water, sleep right, because, like, you can be fucking creative, you can be a great DJ or producer or promoter or whatever, but, like, if you have, like, four gigs in a weekend, you cannot be feeling destroyed in the fourth one because the fourth one is as important as the first one. So, I don't know. After I saw the Avicii thing, and like, I don't know, like, like it really, I come to the raves and like, everything's handed to you so easily. So, so that's, that's my thing, like, be healthy. I'm saying this to myself, like, <laughs> when I watch this interview, like, yo, stay healthy. I love Australia. I've been coming here since 2014. I just stopped coming during COVID. Like, actually many memories, friends, like people I met, you know, like I, I guess the people is, is the best because the sites are amazing and the food is awesome. But like the people that are by your side and well, I guess that's what I love about Australia, that you have treated me well. Mm, no, I just, I mean, I prepare my set, I brush my teeth sometimes when I have time. Maybe I smoke a joint, maybe not. Nothing superstitious, just... Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. It looks like I'm getting no rest, so that's good. After two years of just like, I didn't rest anyways, but <laughs> I mean, after two years of not being touring, like, it's the comeback. That I stream on Twitch, and you can basically fucking my life like I'm this kind of people that just put the fucking thing have 30 viewers I'm producing everything live like like every all of these songs that I have like for two years I made everything live I don't post this on my Instagram nothing because yeah it's not most people like it's a it's a hack like you can see me like waking up sometimes it's like 
having the coffee and being there six hours, like not saying nothing, but like, or sometimes just speaking, like speaking with people. Like I'm this kind of guy. What have been some of my favorite music? Blah, 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 blah. What have been some of my favorite music releases? I really like coding, like for sure. I mean, not because it's like the famous one, but I guess it's the famous one for a reason. I mean, I really like it. The people really like it. I really like it because in this one, I was really not expecting it to do so well. I just fucking made. I was listening all of this hip hop track and they were all like, whoa, I'm decoding. But I was like, why is everyone suddenly speaking about coding? Like, is it like a trending hashtag or something? So I just made one like track that doesn't even say coding in the lyrics. Like in the lyrics it says, everyone copies a recipe, recipe out of this, pla out of this planet technology. True. Like just to put some like Migos vocal because it was like working. But then like I made this abstract trap beat that sounds super good when you're high and uh, also when you're not. But <laughs> you can cut this part if it's not family friendly. But I mean, and it's rough, like, you can hear some glitches in the mix, like, and I like it overall, like, this one, this one track that I didn't know it was going to work, so this one surprises me. And uh, normally I like the last one, like, the last one, this is the one that I like the most, like, I know everyone says that, but it's true, like, you make the last one and you're like, whoa! Maybe it sucks, but you're excited. Well, it's super fucking boring. The last text message I received was, hey, driver's down in 10 minutes. Wish, wish there was something spicy or boring. As I should have checked. I should have checked before I came here. I'm sure there's something like, <sighs> shit. My city, the government, they they throw some fucking good festivals, like they brought Scorpions for free, they brought Juno Reactor in the same lineup, like Juno Reactor and Scorpions. They brought the, like, they would bring a lot of progressive rock, like, so you would have like this huge, like, huge plaza, I don't know how to call it, with a huge stage. And uh, free masters playing masterpieces. So it's Festi el Festival, de la Festival Internacional de la Ciudad de Chihuahua. International Festival of the City of Chihuahua. My favorite set? That, what's my favorite set I ever played? Well, the ones I do on Twitch, <laughs> like, for real, like, it's because it's different, like, here, the party has a concept, I have a concept, and you need to, like, <laughs> arrive to a sweet spot, because, like, if, like, if I played some of the stuff I have, like, maybe it would be nice, but maybe it would suck in this party, but if I played it in a different party, it would work super good. So on Twitch, I just like, because fuck it, it's the internet. Yeah, I, I really did enjoy playing at Dark Festival. It was, this is exactly what I was thinking. Like, I saw the branding, I saw the lineup, I saw the colors, like, I really like, like, when I make music, first I think of an aesthetic, like, I like to think about it in colors and in textures, like, in, like, memes, like, and then I'm like, okay, and what would the soundtrack of this thing, Gestalt, would sound like? Okay, so I see this thing, and, like, I love the concept of the festival, so for me it was a pleasure doing the set. I arrived. 
the sound went off, <laughs> but then it came back. And it was amazing, because when it's a concept festival, and I'm not like the usual people that will be playing here, for me it's a challenge, and I feel like it was amazing. Like I felt peaceful in the stage sometimes. I feel like the pressure here it was no pressure. I'm just dancing. Everyone's dancing. We're dancing. Woo! Be amazing. You can be amazing. You, you are amazing. Be amazing. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You guys are great.